Hello guys, today in this video, we're going to talk about how to build Yelan. We're going to talk about Yelan best artifact, best team comms, our best weapons, and most importantly, our best, uh, how her abilities work. And, yep, so if you're new to the channel and you just found me, please do consider subscribe the channel and do like the video and share the video out if you do like the content I would really appreciate it because it helps out a lot in a, a long run all right let's get started so Yelan uh, let's talk about Yelan abilities the most important thing about Yelan is her elemental burst her elemental burst is the most important thing out of all because in her, her elemental burst all right she, uh, in her elemental burst, when she does her elemental burst, she, uh, there will be few dice. All right, there will be dice around her. All right, and when you switch to a character and you do that character normal attack, that dice will attack that enemy and will deal hydro damage. So this is very good because not just only you you can use this as an off build but you can also use this as an on field as well but it's very useful for off field if you uh, build yalan as a support and that is the reason why yalan is the most best support uh till date the hydro character after you know and it's amazing yalan abilities this ability is by far the amazing because it not just only you can use it as an off field but you can also use an on field and i, I feel like the off field is very useful because because i can just do elemental burst here and i can swap to al -Haytham and uh, there will be dice around here all right there will be dice around here uh which will uh which will hit the enemy and will do normal attack all right so that's very useful and yeah so i think uh yeah it's a very uh, useful uh, ability in my opinion and it scales to max hp so you need to build yalan through hp she doesn't scale on attack she scales a lot of on hp so you do have to keep that in mind and it has a uh, duration of 15 seconds has a cooldown of 18 energy cost is 70 which is a lot higher uh, so you have to build yelan with more energy recharge depending on if you are using yelan with Chingchu double hydro or you, if you are using yelan with only single yelan then you have to build get her a lot of energy recharge which i will talk about in the later part but anyways after that we're going to talk about her skill all right we talked about her elemental bus now we're going to talk about her elemental skill her elemental skill does uh skill damage which also max out to um, uh, max HP, which also scales to max HP. So the more HP Yelan has on her, the more damage she will deal to this elemental skill. So keep that in mind. It has a max duration of 3 seconds and cooldown of 10 seconds, which is a great uptime, by the way. And yeah, so elemental skill, as usual, you go around and it will deal hydro damage. All right. You go around to the enemies and it will do hydro damage, so which is nice, which is very nice. Um, her normal attack is not that important. But uh, you can do charge shot attack, uh, which will deal hydro damage. Uh, all right, uh, charge aim shot. You charge aim shot, it will do hydro damage a little bit. So yeah, it's it's, it's okay, but it's not that important. But uh, the most important part in talent priority, I would say, focus on maxing out the elemental burst, and then you can focus on maxing out the elemental skill, and then normal attack around like level six would be fine. All right. Now we're going to talk about Yelan best weapons. When it comes to the Yelan best weapons, she has she is very free to play friendly character. Her best uh, free to play friendly uh, weapon, I would say, would be Favonius Warbow. Favonius Warbow is really good because with Favonius Warbow, you you get sixty one energy recharge. So that's very useful on Yelan. And in my opinion, I think you should definitely consider if you're building uh, building Yelan through a support unit. Uh, if you're using her with a double uh, hydro. Uh, you, uh, you can still use this weapon but if you're using Yelan with single hydro and the team then using this weapon would be really nice but I've, overall I think this weapon is really good because it gives a ton of energy recharge and it has a pretty good uh, passive as well which will regenerate energy particles which will help you getting energy particle and that will help you get your elemental burst uh, faster which is very nice so I think this weapon is by far as a free to play friendly this weapon is really good. You can also use Sacrificial Bow on Yelan. It has it all. It will, has a good passive with does elemental skill damage, which is really nice. Um, you can also use any weapons, anything that has energy recharge or crit rate. You can use Skyward Harp as well. You can use uh, LG. LG is a very good weapon. You can use that. 
and you can also use Thunder Impulse if you want. But uh, though it pass it doesn't really benefit her. But if you're building it on through DPS, I think you can get and use it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of options out there, and obviously her signature weapon, uh, Aqua Simulacra, that's also one of the best for Yelan out there. But if you're not pulling for the weapon, you don't need to pull for the weapon. You can just use Pavonius Warball and you'll, you'll be fine. Now we're going to talk about Yelan's best artifacts. Yelan's best artifacts are probably going to be the Emblem of Severed Fate. The Emblem of Severed Fate is literally one of the best pe don't, uh, uh, best pieces of uh, best set for Yelan. All right. So we're going to talk about the, what kind of main stats you need for Yelan. For Yelan on the sand, you need HP percentage. On the Goblet, I uh, recommend you uh, using Hydro Damage Bonus. And on the Circlet, you can either use Crit Rate, Crit Damage according to your ratio. Alright, now on the Substats, you need to focus on Critical Rate, Critical Damage and Energy Recharge. Uh, critical, critical Rate, Critical Damage and HP Percentage would be nice. And also Energy Recharge, so these are the four things you need to focus on getting on the Substats. Alright, so yeah. You can easily get this from the strong box. So now you don't have to go to envelope to farm for envelope, which is very nice. So just go to the strong box and just feed all your uh, the artifacts that are not useful. You can feed them in the strong box and that will give you a lot of um, envelope pieces. And you just have to keep on rolling and get good pieces and you'll be fine. All right. Now we're going to talk about Yelan Consolation. Yelan Consolation, um, when it comes to Yelan Consolation, they are a good consolation, especially her C6, but we'll talk about that after we discuss, uh, after we go through the all this uh, on the above. Her C1, C1 gives one additional charge, so you can do skill two times. Her C2 uh, increases her max HP and will deal hydro damage, which is nice. C3, C5, C3 is really good. C5 is not that great. C3 uh, is nice. C4 um, is okay increases match HP uh, for all the party members which is all right pretty decent but in my opinion I think C6 is one of the best C6 is a game changer C6 Yelan is the best consolation in my opinion because it literally makes Yelan of DPS trust me it's insane all right so if you are light spender I would say go for C1 but if you already have C1 you can pull for C2 if you want to deal more damage to Yelan if you really like Yelan you can do that but yeah it's up to you but I would recommend C0 Yelan is still fine, you don't need to go for her C1, but C1 does give, uh, I would say, I would recommend getting C1 and that will be a good stopping point in my, in my opinion, alright? Uh, talent priority, elemental burst, elemental skill and then normal attack, alright? So Yelan fits in, Yelan is a very universal uh, character and Hydro is the best element in the game. Uh, literally, uh, ever since the game came out, Hydro has always been rolling in my opinion. Uh, so Yelan, um, as a Hydro uh, sub DPS, a DPS, you can use her. She's very universal. She, uh, you can use her with, uh, you can use her with Shingchu. You can use her with Shingchu. All right. You can use her with um, Farina. You can use her with anyone. Double Hydro. You can use her with Kokomi. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, out there. All right. So you can use, and yeah. So yeah. So I feel like she's very universal. Uh, you can also use her with Hu Tao. You can use her with Hu Tao. Uh, the, uh, yeah, you can use her with Hu Tao on the Hu Tao national team. You can use her with Raiden. She fits in every team. She fits in every team. You can use her in Raiden and with Dendro. She is very good with Dendro. So yeah, she's very universal. So I feel like yeah, you should definitely. She's very universal. She fits in every team comp. So yeah, I definitely feel like she is very good. And now we're going to talk about should you pull for Yelan, definitely go for Yelan. I think she will be an amazing, uh, amazing character for you and she, it will really help you out a lot. More Hydro characters is always good and Yelan as a support, amazing support she is and also does a lot of damage. I definitely feel Yelan is worth pulling for. All right. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye.